This video explains about the most commonly used software architecture, layered architecture which is also known as N, tire architecture. Here is a sample layered architecture. I have shown the commonly used 5 layers in most of the application architecture, but generally the layers can be selected based on the needs of the application. First layer is, presentation layer. This layer contains the user-oriented functionality responsible for managing user interaction with the system, and generally consists of components that provide a common bridge into the core business logic encapsulated in the business layer. Second layer is service layer. When an application must provide services to other applications, as well as implementing features to support clients directly, a common approach is to use a services layer that exposes the business functionality of the application. Third layer is business logic layer. This layer implements the core functionality of the system, and encapsulates the relevant business logic. Fourth layer is, persistence layer. Persistence layer is a group of files which is used to communicate between the application and database. Fifth layer is database layer. This layer stores the data. Now let's have a detailed view. In this layered entire architecture, each layer performs a unique role and even the components inside these layers are also perform some unique tasks. So let's see how the each layer communicates with each other. The architecture diagram that shown in the example is a closed architecture. Here the closed indicates that the request that comes to any of application layer should go through all of the layers. For example, when the there is a request comes for the presentation layer, it should go through service, business, persistence and database layers in order to serve the response for the request. In this point you may think why so the request to flow through all the layers? Won't it be inefficient and time consuming? Before jumping to the answer, we will first see why these layers are closed. Generally these layers are built based on a concept called, layers of isolation. Which means a change that is happening in one layer will not affect the other. That is good isn't it? For example, we can say you want to change the presentation layer of a website from simple JavaScript to powerful AngularJS so that your website behaves responsive. So the key point of keeping this isolation among the layers is, keeping the change controlled within the architecture. Also this layered architecture provides the separation of concern. Now you may say, that's fine but what if a third party application wants to interact with my application and why it should go through the presentation layer which is not relevant at all in this business scenario? That is a perfect business scenario and in case we can open the presentation layer, here open indicates, any request that comes into the application can bypass the open layer. In this case, now the third party request can directly talk to the service layer and can skip the presentation layer. Now let's look into the score. First is, development. Since majority of the applications are layer based, it is relatively easy for the developers to understand this architecture. Hence the score is 4 out of 5. Next is, testing. Since each layer works on its own realm, it is easier for testing. Hence the score is 3.5 out of 5. Next is, deployment. If is not planned properly during the deployment on a distributed computing, deployment is gonna be challenging. Hence the score is 2.5 out of 5. Next feature is maintenance. Since the layers are loosely coupled, maintenance and enhancement would be relatively easier. Hence the score is 3. Performance. If not designed properly, the overhead going through each layers may have negative impact on the overall performance. Hence the score is 2.75. Overall agility. More the layers are open, more the control on change in the architecture will get complex. Hence the score for overall agility is 3. Hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share your comments. Stay subscribed for more knowledge sharing videos. Thank you for watching this video.